Hello students, this is Professor Chalai, and in this video we're going to look at concentration by mass percentage. As always, you can follow along with our Chapter 3 uh, workbook. By the end of this video, you should be able to define a concentration uh, by mass percentage, and you should be able to perform different calculations on solution con concentrations using the solution's mass. But before we get into that, let's look, let's look at a brief overview of what we mean by concentration. So by now we learned that a solution is composed of a solute, a solvent, uh, and a solvent. Typically, um, the solvent that we're going to deal with mostly in uh, our course is going to be water. And so far, we've defined concentration as equal to the moles of the solute divided by the volume in liters of solution and we call this unit molarity or big M. It's moles of a liter or molarity. But there are different ways to define the amount of solute. So this is just a way of defining the amount of solute. Amount of solute. And there are different ways to define the amount of solvent. Sorry, the amount of solution. In this example, we define the amount of solute using the moles of the solute, and we define the amount of solution by the volume of solution. But there are different ways to define these uh, values, and the way that we're going to use uh, here is the masses of the solute and the masses of the solution. And those two things together, multiplied by 100%, give what we call the concentration by mass percentage. Sometimes uh, you would see this written as percent weight, or percent W over W. It just means percent weight over weight. It's the weight of the solute divided by the weight of the solution. So again, we're not using moles of solute and liters of solution, but we're using mass of solute and mass of solution. There are different uh, places where this might come in useful. For example, if, you're, uh, if your solution's a solid, right? Volume might not make as much sense as mass, for example. All right, so let's look at a few examples using percent mass percentage. And let's look at, in your chapter workbook, number 35. So number 35 says that we have a 5-gram sample of spinal fluid, and it has 3.75 milligrams of glucose. So already we should be thinking 5 grams of spinal fluid. This is our mass of solution right, the spinal fluid is our solution. Here we have 3.7 milligrams or 0 0.00375 grams of glucose. Glucose is our solute. So this would be our mass of solute. So to calculate our percent uh, weight by weight, or mass percentage, should be equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution multiplied by 100%, right? So here we identified what, our, what was our solution, what was our solute, and so we can go ahead and perform this calculation. So our mass of solute was 0 0.00375 grams. Our mass of solution was 5.0 grams. And note they should be in the same units. It doesn't matter what unit they are in, as long as they're in the same units, because that lets us cancel out those units. And times 100%, you plug those numbers into your calculator, and you get 0.075%. So in your spinal fluid, uh, there's about 0.075% uh, concentration of glucose weight by weight. So I'm just going to add here weight by weight just to show what kind of percentage we're dealing with. Uh, I specify weight by weight because as we'll learn in future videos, there are other ways, other types of percentages we can define concentration as. Okay, let's try number 34, 35, and 36 by yourself using the definition of mass percent uh, concentration. And you can pause the video, try those for yourselves and unpause and we'll go over them together. Okay, let's look at number 34. No, number 34 says we have 135 grams of HCl and 
775 grams of water. And it's asking us to calculate the percent by mass of HCl. So the percent weight by weight of HCl should be equal to which ones are solute and which ones are solvent. So let's look at it again. The cleaner contains 135 grams of HCl and 775 grams of water. Remember of that our definition of solute and solvent are the solutes the minor component and the solvents the major component. Okay, so this is a solute. Water is our solvent. However, you might remember that uh, percent mass is solute over solution. And so to get solution, it's solute plus solvent equals solution. So let's look at that. So on the top, we have mass of solute, 135 grams. On the bottom, we have solution, which is 135 grams for the solute plus 775 grams for the solvent times 100% for the percent weight by weight. Plug all of these into our calculator and we get 135 divided by 135 plus 775 gives us about 14.8% weight by weight. This one was a little bit trickier because they gave us two different components and we had to figure out what the mass of the solution was, but we just add up the solute and the solvent. Okay, let's look at number 35. In number 35, it says concentrated, concentrated hydrochloric acid is an aqueous solution. Right away, that should mean that our solvent is water. And it tells us what the concentration is. It's 37.2% weight by weight. HCl, uh, it says the density is 1.19 grams per mil and the mass and it, the volume that we have is 0.5 liters and it's asking us for the mass. So let's set up our problem. Percent weight by weight is equal to mass of solute over mass solvent times 100%. They give us the concentration and they're asking us to find the mass of the solute. So in order to find the mass of the solute, solute, then we first need to find the mass of the solvent, which they don't give us in this question. What they do give us is the density and the volume. And right away, we should know that if we have density and volume, we can figure out the mass. So we know that the mass of the solvent, sorry, not solvent, this should be solution. So the mass of the solution should be the volume of solution, right, which is right over here, 0 0.500 liters multiplied by the density, 1.19 grams over milliliter. The only problem here is we can't cancel out our units, but we do know that one liter is 1,000 milliliters. And so that lets us cancel that out nicely. And we end up with a massive solution of about 595 grams of solution. So now that we have our massive solution, we can plug that back into our equation and solve for the mass of the solute. So let's do that. So we know the percent weight by weight is equal to mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. We know the uh, concentration, it's 37.2% weight by weight. We don't know the mass of solute, but we do know the mass of so the solution, which we just calculated from the density and the volume. It's 595 grams, all times 100%. So let's solve for the mass of solute. So the mass of the solute, we multiply both sides by 595 divided by 100%. We get 37.2% divided by 100% multiplied by 595 grams. You plug these numbers into your calculator and you should get 221 grams of solute. 
So let, let me go over that again. In this question, they give us the concentration and they're asking us to find the mass of solute. They did not give us the mass of the solution, but what they did give us was the density and the volume. And we know we could figure out the mass of solution from, by using the volume of the solution and the density of the solution by just multiplying those two together, making sure the units cancel out. That way we get the mass of the solution. Then we just need to plug that into our equation, rewrite it so that we solve for the mass of the solute, which gives us 221 grams. Okay, let's try number 36, which depends on number 35. We're looking at the same hydrochloric acid, concentrated hydrochloric acid solution that has 37.2% width by weight. And we're asking us, uh, what volume of solution contains 125 grams of HCl? So again, they give us the concentration. They give us the mass of solute. And they're asking us to find, let's use a different color, the volume, right? Let's pay attention to that. They're asking us to find a volume of solution. All right, so let's set this up. So we know this is a percent weight by weight. So percent weight by weight should be mass of solute over mass of solution times 100%. It's asking us for volume of solution, but first we can find a mass of solution. So let's do that. So if you rewrite this question to find mass of solution, we get that is equal to the mass of the solute times 100% divided by the percent weight by weight, right? We just divide both sides by this, multiply both sides by that, cross multiply essentially. And so let's plug those numbers in and we get a mass of solution. So it's 125 grams of solute times 100% divided by uh, the 37.2% weight by weight gives us 336 grams of solution. But we're not done. We're looking for mass of solution, not volume. Uh, sorry, we're looking for volume of solution, not mass. So we know that if we take our mass and we divide it by the density, and again, our density is 1.19 grams per mil, right? from the question before, right here. This is the density of our solution. Then we could convert that mass into a volume. So we just multiply and we end up with an answer of 282 milliliters. And this is our answer for number 36. So let's go over this again. There we go. The question is asking us for volume. They give us the mass percent by uh, mass percent concentration, and they give us the mass of solute. Using that, we can actually find the mass of the solution, which is not what the question is asking us for, but it gets us somewhere closer to the answer. We know that if we have the mass of the solution and we have the density of the solution, we can go ahead and calculate the volume of the solution by just uh, dividing the mass by the uh, by the concentration. All right, there are more questions like these towards the end of the chapter for you to practice, but just to remember the concentration by mass is the mass of the solute over the mass of solution. And this is similar to all types of concentrations where really concentrations are measured the amount of solute over the amount of solution. For mass percentage, it's just the mass divided by the mass. Whereas for the molarity, it was the moles of the solute divided by volume of solution. As always, if you have questions, please uh, send me a message and I'll be able to answer them or we can discuss it during discussion sessions. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video where we talk about percent volume, concentration by percent volume. I'll see you then. Bye.